Has, oh, that's below me. That shouldn't be below me. Uh, hey, alert. subscribed. Yeah. Well done. Ben has subscribed. Thank you very much for that, Mr. Ben, sir. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, yes. So I'm, I'm trying something new with the, the setup here. So you're, you're going to be coming from behind my head a bit. So I've made us a little bit bigger because we're... I think, I mean, we're talking a lot more and stuff like that. So it made sense that we were a bit bigger on stream and, and things like that. So I've cropped Dawn's mm -hmm. side of it. So we're more focused and stuff like that. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, then I'll change it back for the next time. So that's pretty much it. So um, thank you so much for subscribing, Ben. For six months, you nut bar. You are cr you're criminally insane. So, but thank you so much for doing that, mate. Uh, it me KP, first live stream. Hey everyone, hello mate. Thank you for coming along. Thanks for watching. Good to have you here. Guilty as charged. Yes, you are, Ben. Uh, Liam says Dawn's hair is amazing. I yes, can. it really, really is. Mm -hmm. But I see no one comments on the beard, so you know, 
Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. You need to invest in some beer glitter. Um. Hey, um, um, Helen told me that uh, I can get beard, uh, like a, a dye gel or something. Yeah, you can probably get like a semi perma. Yeah. Or like so, a, an eight plus, yeah. Can we have Dawn a bit louder? Yeah. Yes, you can. Shift this so it's in front of me and then just leave it a bit. No, it's fine. Oh, I can turn you Is up. Is that better? There we go. Well, it's probably going to be too loud now. I'll turn you down a little bit, mind then. There we go. Hello. Mm. There you go. How's that? That's much better, says Abby. Yes. Hello, Abby. Mm. Welcome. Welcome. I haven't seen uh, Abby. Abby's been popping in and out. I haven't seen Abby properly in chat for a while, which is good. Mm -hmm. uh, Helen says, loving the hair. Sa oh, Sam's here. Evening all. Uh, currently, say all lovely to see you all. It is this. I, I hope this stream is going to be a good thing because I've, re I've this has been an idea I've had for quite a while, mm -hmm. and I'm and I'm I'm really pleased that uh, we're mm -hmm. able to get this done, especially with mm -hmm. Dawn as well, because Dawn obviously has been part of Hefty Fan for a very very long time, so she's. Um, you make me sound like a long term Yakuza member. She's at well, Oyubin level. Mm. She's she's served some time. Mm. We haven't been able to catch her for uh, the castle rustling, but we'll get her soon. Yes. She's been seen at these naming ceremonies. Yes, it's um, I, I keep on saying Dawn is the mother of chat, but she doesn't remember having these kids. So no, but there you no. go. She's <laughs> a cousin uh, that might occasionally buy you beer. Yeah, there we go. She's the uh, yeah. The crazy cousin who will buy you alcohol. There we go. Let's go. Let's go with that one. Yeah. Um, so thanks everyone for coming along. So we're we're gonna chat a bit of music. We'll mm -hmm. we'll have a uh, a little bit of performing as well. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll go through like, inspirations, I guess, as well. That's a big mm -hmm. thing because it was something that yeah. was that actually came up last time as well. We were talking about musical film inspiration to get you in the mood for Empire. Mm -hmm. um, Liam says, Steve, what I would like to see you wearing is the beard Christmas lights. Don't know if you've seen them, but they are like uh, little red baubles that can go in a majestic beard. You can get like Christmas baubles for beards. I well, have seen that. He's not wrong. No, okay. Um, Ben's cheered some bits. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, you can get the beard baubles in Flying Tiger for two quid. Yep. Right then. Okay, that's. I guess that's what I'm looking at. Uh, I will prefer. I will. Um, so I started to say something and then read a question at the same time. Um, I'll look at uh, getting a color as well, and then I'll put that into chat and get at some point and get all of that done. So actually, uh, Han, if you what? Well, you are watching. I've seen you write a question down. Um, what colors can we get for my beard? Could you have a quick look, and then we can go tiger stripes his beard now. Ben, Benjamin. Do we need to have a conversation? Um, it depends on the subtone, because you have darker beard. So what's probably going to come up best is a red or a plum. But it's whether or not you want to put on your face something that might have a tiny amount of ammonia in it. Whether you want to get something semi-perm or something that just washes out. A Santa beard. Or oh, go completely white. Or you go, I mean, go with the full Kurt Russell. Hmm. That See does, Santa now. He does look cool. That does look cool. Can we get a bright, bright blue for glory? Blue will stain. Yeah. If you bleach your beard and then put blue in, blue is going to stain and it's going to turn a weird green, and you're going to end up with Yoda beard. I'm kind of all right with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mm. oh, see. I can only do I can only do Yoda quotes when I'm saying rude things. It's um, it's it's not. <laughs> it's just not good. Mm. Sleep in the wet spot. I won't. But anyway, uh... <laughs> I'm just remembering the seagulls song. Seagulls, stop it now. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's that's a bit my level. Yeah, that's a great song. Um. It me KP has subscribed as well. Thank you so much. That's two. We're doing well. Oh man, good way to see Steve burst into uh, uh, flames midstream. Mm. Uh, that's looking great. <laughs> we need this now. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go for. Mark I'll... me, do you? 
Oh, that's my next character. Just gonna be you. Do we need more subs? We always need more subs. Love, I love getting more subs. I cannot. Uh, I'll never say no to subs. Um, mm, bend over. Show me your dark side. No. No, I'm st- I've got to stop into the, now. Into the dungeon now. Right, into the dungeon. Okay. Into the dungeon. <laughs> Dying here. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, that was uh, yeah, it would, it would face be Sam. It would be Sam. Oh, man. Uh, there's a product called... Oh, there's a product called uh, Mo for Yang. I think is a hair gel that changes the colour for an evening. I might have to look at doing that as well. Uh, you invited me to your disc, uh, to your Discord, so I had to subscribe. We've got to see this. Well, you here, mate? Love it. It's all. It hopefully will be a good one. Okay, so there we go. There's the Etsy thing. Oh man, I can't believe I've agreed to doing this. Um, agreed to. T- oh, we'll ask okay. Them. So Ben has gifted a sub to Sam, so that's awesome. Thanks, Ben, and uh, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so white beard with Christmas baubles in for one for a stream. Then at some point, excellent. Mm-hmm. And thanks for the bits, um, my amorous. That's awesome. Okay, we'll do that. I'll get my um, uh, that link. Loops amazing. Yes, I'm hoping that she'll actually come on stream at some point as well. Um, oh. the, yeah, that's um, Amber Goldfarb. She was in the LARPs series, but she's a proper, um, she's a, a proper uh, voice actress as well. Oh. Hello, Amber. So, yes. I can do voices. I can I do just... Yoda, but I, I get told not to now. Um, yeah. And Abby's no, as well. Thank you so much. To. We're filling the cup. We're doing well. Hey, so, do Skeletor, and then there's one other voice that probably shouldn't, but pretty much Skeletor is. Oh, do Skeletor. Come on. Um, Skeletor, I'm trying to think. It's the sorceress, you fools, after her! <laughs> not perfect. Possibly not had enough gym, but... Oh my god. Can we, uh-huh. can we keep Steve on diversions until we fill the up? <laughs> Oh my god. No. We're here for no. mu- we're here to talk music. We're here for music mm-hmm. and inspirations and stuff. So oh more bits as well from Ben. Thank you very much for that, mate. I do appreciate it. One hour later. Thank you, Abby. Mm-hmm. And more bits from Abby. I, I wanna say stop, but I also don't wanna say stop. So they're mm. going everywhere. Some some music. Some music. Did you so, have a music question for mm, me. So focus. Right, I ha- well, there was a question. It's there was full. A question. There was a question. Let's let's go back to, let's Ooh. scroll back up. Let's keep scrolling back up. Okay, Helen has asked, do you prefer filking songs or writing your own? That's an excellent question, Helen, because it puts me exactly at what my um, ability level is. Um, and that's that's no shade for me, because um, you will get people in the field who are professional musicians or are like professionally trained so andy for example pud is i think got a level of like professional training that's very good and can write his own stuff as well as built from a lot of different areas um i like music i like seeing noise make um i this is the thing. I don't remember being terrible at music at school, but I also, I don't. There was just lots of people. If people were did a subject and they took it to a certain level, they were the people who were good at it. Mm. So I never really thought about it or tried to process it. Um, so I never like did a GCSE or anything, and I never sat down and tried to study. This is how we do this. Um, I think I did a bit of piano when I was very small, but then we did a little. So can't actually write music per se okay. is the best way of putting it i don't really know how to write music i'm sure yeah. if someone explained it to me i'd get a rough idea but i don't really write original stuff for okay. the field yeah. um pretty much all of what i do is filk so it's finding songs that i feel have an emotional match or match the sound of whatever i'm trying to do within 
the realm of the game, basically. I yeah. wish I could. I wish I could write songs. I've occasionally dabbled in poetry, which I think is sort of like the gateway drug. Mm. But knowing how to write down, you get the do 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 do, is not the level that I'm at. So I also do. I did. When I was at uni on year abroad, I was in the music circle for my university. But that was mostly people would perform different songs and they'd get together as a group. It's like, this group of people are doing this band, this group of people mm. are doing this. And it was more sort of feedback saying, I think that's right. No, I think that's a bit too low. That's a bit too high. That's a bit too fast. Yeah. Okay, now it all sounds okay. Did a. Okay. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, so I se- wish I could, but I haven't yet. Yeah. Uh, Selin Brum has uh, has followed, so thank you, welcome. And uh, says I got the I got the Tom gif. <laughs> I know Kay- yeah. Kaylin knows me. Ah, excellent, Kaylin. Ka- Kaylin is a meat space friend and, and knows who I am. Wonderful. Kaylin knows things. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I look forward to hearing Hi. some of that. <laughs> oh. I know. <laughs> I know where you live. Mm. Pretty much. Excellent. So, uh, Ben's asked, uh, who is your favourite singer at Empire, other than yourself, of course? Because I, I always, this is the thing, I don't, I think, it, I've heard other people say it now when they've been on this stream or on other streams, like, I'm pretty sure I've heard Andy say it and, like, other people say it, is, it's, with the nerves, it's very weird, you're like, yeah, I did all wrong, yeah, I did good, because most of the time I'm mm. like, that was passable. I've coasted through, but no one threw a tank at me, so it must be. <laughs> um, I don't know because there's a lot of really good people, and everyone does a different thing. Yeah, and yeah, they do. I, I'm, I'm an absolute pain in the backside for this because I can never be like this is the greatest thing ever. Like Tom and I have a regular argument about who did the best version of um, what's the song? You've got the love. We have oh. a regular argument who did the best version of that. Okay. Um, and Tom's now looking at me. So all I say is that we don't agree on the topic. Um, yeah. But like, there's different people in different nations doing really cool things. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. Nicasia, General Nicasia's player, is excellent. Mm. Has built and I think possibly written original stuff and yeah. does a lot of stuff for the, not just in Empire, but tries to get people involved from different LARPs in the music side, which is really cool. Um, I've seen Constanza's player. So I think she used to be a Prey gatekeeper. And I'm not sure what her proper non what her non player name is. What her player name is, even. It's oh, fine. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she was a pride gatekeeper, I think, from the Brass Coast. But she not only does um, sort of singing and writing her own stuff and building other things, um, she also does dancing as well. Yeah. So she'll get people to play and dance along. Um, obviously, uh, uh, Andy Pud Tarek is really cool, does yeah. really good stuff. Irina Goodwin. Um, yes. Irina. Yes. Irina. That's um, it, Irina. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. Well, Mm-hmm. Oh, and his his lovely wife, um, whose name I've forgotten, I don't know why. Emma. Because I'm Emma, yes. Because I was trying to remember what her own character name was, and I'm like, no, that's not that's a character in a book. Don't no, don't just. And now you know that way when you're like, it's mm. this. I think I'm getting to that age. I'm gonna sort of segue that. I think I'm getting to that age where every time I try and remember someone's name, and if it's not someone I've known for X amount of years. You start thinking of the girlfriends from uh, Mambo Number no. Five. I can't sing it because obviously we'll get a DCIM mark on the channel and uh-huh. I'll lose the channel. Uh, Which but I yes. won't. No, no, but you start going through. The, yeah. You start thinking of songs where it's just people get names yeah, oh, yeah. recited, and you're like, "No, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that." But Emma, <laughs> she's got a really, she had a really lovely voice, and she did the lovely windy song. Yeah, she's it's very talented. Very sad and melancholic, but it's amazing. And obviously, in Dawn, you had the Devril slash Hearth Song Sisters, because they're now in slightly different groups. Mm. But they would do these big harmonies, which were really lovely. Um, and they all have really fantastic like upper register range, and that was always yeah. really cool. Um, definitely Orla, who plays Lady Kaywen, 
Um, and it's not just performing, it's the other stuff that they do, because yeah. um, Orla's put together the Donish songbook, and she's not written everything in it, but she's brought it all together, and she's made like an illustrated version you can download from the Facebook group page, which oh, is wow. amazing. It's That's beautiful. Cool. I've got a copy here. Which, um, to give you an idea, because I've started to print off people's lyrics and keep them in a little folder. Oh, that's amazing. But, yeah, so she does stuff like that as well as singing, performing, can play an instrument and sing at the same time, which is hard. I think it's hard. Annoyingly talented. She's really good at stuff. <laughs> uh huh. Um, and I feel bad because like there's probably something you're forgetting. Like obviously, there's like there's, there must be people I'm forgetting. Um, Sam, <coughs> Sam Wheatley. <coughs> I, haven't, I haven't heard. I've heard Sam online. I've not met him in the field, so I don't know if I get to say Sam or any of the Navar people. Because obviously <laughs> Edwin Sparrow. Um, I'm not sure if I've heard Nami sing, but I have heard. I think I might have heard the Ember Call sing. Hmm. But there's all these people, and um, obviously Tristan. Um, I've heard those people sing in the stream, so I don't know if I get to see them because I've not met them in character yet. Okay, that's fair. That's mm -hmm. fair. Yeah. And obviously you've got the, sil the, sil the Silver Chalice in Highgard, who I think used to be a different group in Barushka, but now the Silver Chalice. So they do this amazing sort of like um, choral music, basically. They do sort of like um, mm. choir pieces in a sort of... Um, in this, I don't want to say in the religious style because obviously it's high guard and there's a big part of religion into the culture there, but sort of classical almost choral singing. Yeah. But and again, really talented people, people who I think oh, yeah. contributed to the schema and the brief behind the music of the game itself. Yeah, I'll, I'll just say to everybody in chat, I am. Uh, <laughs> You have to tell husband face as well that I've cropped it. So. Ah, uh, um, Tom's just pointed out one of the singers with the Silver Chalice is a lady called Jude who wrote the Imperial Anthem. Oh, wow. And I think she wrote a fair amount of like the Donish music brief as well. Cool. If I'm remembering correctly, because I don't want to say something that's not quite correct. But um, yes, mm. and obviously, how can I not mention my husband? Elfie, because uh, Tom has an excellent voice, yeah, but when say. he sings his Elfie, it's always very dirty. So you're always guaranteed to like, cry with laughter. Yeah, it is good. Unfortunately, one time I was trying to get him to <clears> sing a particular song, and the very drunk rats coasters next to me thought I was just shouting gravy at him, whereas I was trying to get him to sing, I am crazy for she. But she's not crazy for me. And they just start shouting, Gravy! Gravy! And he was looking at him like, What? What you want? What you want? I was like, No, no okay. I've made it worse. That's made brilliant. it worse. The hide it. under my tiara now. Made it worse. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll just say to everyone in chat, there's a lot of questions. I'm working my way through. So don't worry. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll, we'll, we'll get through them all. Um, so John has asked, "What is your favourite song at Empire, and why is it Da?" It isn't Da. No. As much as much not. as I appreciate it's 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 easy to join in on. Oh, I do. I'm sort of remembering this is this is a sort of a segue again, but I'm sort of remembering at the start of the year when we were all really worried when The Witcher came out that everyone and their dog would be um, Phil King. Toss a coin to your Witcher. Toss a coin to your Filka. You know, and the Eurovision film came out on Netflix, and we all know it's going to be Jar Jar Ding Dong. I've not seen that. You shoes. Okay. You should. I'll see have that. to give that a go. I'll have to watch that one. It's then. excellent. Why is the song? Song not sung by me, I assume. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Um. I think what was someone saying? Alfie's just destroying the mug. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Alfie. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have a quick look because there's a couple of songs of, I quite like "Come My Pretty One" because everyone can join that in, and there's a little bit of competition as to who sings it 
first, because mm. obviously um, one of the most famous renditions is from actually from Rosa, and it's in Cassia, but a lot of people have heard um, the Deborah and Hearth song, yeah. family sing it. Um, so that's really good. Oh, I do like the battle anthem, but I don't know if it's my favourite one to sing. Mm. Um, I don't know if I have a favourite one to sing, but one favourite one to hear, isn't it? Um, well, give us. I mean, you can name a few. I think that would be fair yeah, because yeah. there are there are so many there, mm. and they are so many annoyingly talented people in that field. Uh-huh. Like the Kath and Canny song when you have a proper group of people going, mm-hmm. is amazing. It's okay. great fun. Because I remember um, there's a girl called Alessa, um, and I think she, she is in Don, she currently plays, I think it's Lady App. I can't pronounce it. I can spell it, but I can't pronounce it. But I think the character's nickname is Lizzie. Um, so she plays well, um, Lady Elizarine, I think. I'm really sorry, Alessa, if I'm saying it wrong. Um, but it's half the it's, fun. Kath and, there's a song about Kath and Canny and it's great because she mm. does this sort of like oh, oh she does sort of harmonising over the top of it and she goes right up to the top of the register which is really cool. Nice. Um, oh, here's a health to the company is always fun because everyone gets it involved. People have heard it. Mm. One of the fun songs is people sort of like they know it and even if it's not quite from their nation's brief or whatever they sort of they get into it and they get into the swing of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, Carol. Carolix uh, has said, are there many people who play uh, instrumental music rather than oh, playing yes. and singing? I've heard a few. Yeah, I think there uh, are people. I think I think the ones I've heard have mainly been out of uh, Highgard and Urizen. I've it's... seen quite a few in the bar. Because you get drumming in the bar. Um, there was a group, I think, that had guitars. Um, there's a group of marchers who came into the Autumn Festival Theatre. Mm. Um, the Autumn Festival at the League, I think, E4 2019 it would have been. Mm. Um, I'm pretty sure they've got like a war band accompanies into battle and one there's two people that play the didgeridoo. Love it. Which is amazing to see. And you think, oh, it's, Love it's, it. I thought, yeah. it's it's just, it's great. It was great. So yeah, you get all a lot of different um, instruments going about, actually. Mm. Um I'm actually thinking, because people mentioned earlier Rusty Compass, um, I think, I'm not sure of the individual members' names, but I know the chap with the long blonde hair and beard has a horse fiddle that he's brought to field once or twice, but is as tall as him, if not taller again. Hmm. So that's quite cool when that's played, because I think that's that's the same, it's like the acoustic version of one of the instruments that the Who HU plays. So he plays one of them. Nice. That's, uh-huh, so cool. that's quite it's quite a low sort of but it it just Yeah. It's it's not just you're in the field, you're hearing something that they've created, so it is quite nice. It's not people do like the sort of like join in songs, but it's really nice when someone's just playing a bit yeah. of music on their instruments. Yeah. Uh, Helen's asked, uh, what are the signs you look for in a potential filk? And do you think there are very strong connections to different nations? Um, so I think there's... Because the word brief gets bandied around. And yeah. I don't want to ever... Like, the brief is like a good guideline for where you can go. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to take into mind what sort of, what's in your range physically so you don't be singing a song that makes you go that's, that's what i'd aim no for good. myself that's 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 what i'm going for uh-huh you're, you're you're going to do your vocal cords a mischief oh i've already done that no um, <laughs> it's like because obviously sometimes people write it for like political reasons and that's the thing you can do in empire mm. you can you can bring the arts very easily into the political arena of the Senate, into the arena of the I've forgotten the name now, the Synod. Mm. Words sound good tonight. Words sound good. Do words um, well. Do words well, I do. Um, basically, one of the big things is do do I feel comfortable singing it, and not just sort of yeah. like, can I go? Do, 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 do. 
you know, is it something I'm comfortable reaching sort of like the upper and lower ranges of? Um, it, it doesn't knock something out because, you know, it does knock something out if I can because then I think, okay, I need to adjust it a little. Do I actually enjoy singing it? That that helps because you, yeah. you'll hear stuff and you'll think, yeah, that would suit it. And then you think, this is brutal. This is really depressing because you, you can already get quite a few dirges on the old or if it's not something that makes you happy to sing or you don't enjoy singing it because obviously type 2 fun exists um, so very quickly type 2 fun, type 1 fun is my character is having fun therefore I'm having fun and type 2 fun is a terrible thing has happened to my character but I'm enjoying the emotional out fallout yeah and riding that cart like I stole it so if, if you're enjoying the type 2 fun of a song that's great um, And ca but can I make it also fit into theme of the nation is this a song my character would sing um is this a song that would fit sort of fit in can i rearrange the lyrics in order to make it work for empire yeah because you have I can, to I... the, this yeah the stuff that needs to be changed and it's not just a case of moving around pronouns and things but also like mentions of deities is a bit of a no-no um, yeah and, can I make bring in things to do with virtue and, and things like that? So some songs that's a bit easier in some genre of songs. Yeah. And then I've I've heard people make quite a diverse range of songs work. Yeah, I, I do like it when you hear a filk and it's you've recognised the song and they they've had enough to drink where uh -huh. they you hear their filk and then like uh, for the next verse is the original and mm -hmm. then they're for the verse after that they're back to their song again. And that's mm. that makes me chuckle. So because mm. I, I heard the um, uh, the song from Sharp. Um, oh. Uh, uh, all the hills and all the main across Flanders, Portugal, and Spain. That one. Okay. And they did it. So it was three places in the empire. For the next verse, it wasn't. <laughs> and everyone was looking around, going, "Where's Portugal?" <laughs> <laughs> And it was brilliant, uh, but mm -hmm. it was just like he ignored, he he, mm -hmm. he realised and he carried on mm -hmm. and then it became, people were still asking him where Portugal was, so he, he just ignored the film and he just sang the original after that, and it was brilliant and no, no, but I think that's the good thing when it comes to the music and Empire as well so everyone, everyone's into it it's like, you get mm -hmm. the people who can perform incredibly well mm -hmm. and then you get the people who are very very nervous, it's their first time and they've turned out, I, I have witnessed this young girl, uh, she had her book, and she was there singing along, and she sang about four lines, stopped, was looking around at everyone, staring at her, she had tears in her eyes, and everyone was just sort of like, it's fine, carry on, you're, you're okay, don't worry. And she was just like, okay, I'll take a minute, and then she started again, and then, yeah, and she got into it. And then pages fell out everywhere, and she. Then we were basically we were passing her back pages, and she was like, "I'm singing it in the wrong order." But everyone was on board at this point, and she carried on going. And it was all in the wrong order, but it was brilliant. It's it was so much fun, and it picked her up. And then I think I saw her perform later that night in Dawn in Wise Guys, and mm. uh, I asked her if she was going to perform it in the right order this time and it was good and it led to like she had a little story to tell now and th stuff like that so I, that's, that's what I like it was really really good I haven't seen her oh. since oh no I have seen her since I've seen her a couple of times um, around but she's yeah she's not in the drug circle she won't we won't mix <laughs> sorry <laughs> um, right where are we uh, Liam is there any new and upcoming singers and songwriters uh, at Empire, you're looking forward to listening to after the longest dark, because I suppose we've done, we did the uh, spring festival where we yes. had quite a few new singers, and there were some mm. great ones there. Mm. And there are, to be honest, that's probably a good idea to do. Are you new to performing? Are you looking to get involved? And would do like a big, like a music video thing, big music thing mm. for the people like that could record something and we could play that mm. to give people an idea and get, get it out there and what i will say is one of the things i do in the field is i'm currently the person that is the official cat wrangler for the uh, atelier <coughs> and also for the shield festival of the arts which is usually an e2 of each year mm. 
So I've inherited it from another group um, after they retired their characters. So it was myself and another player running it. And then she's retired that character. So it's now my role deal with a little bit of help of Chris 2, Chris Harder, mm. Tilly and Chris, and the lads at Wise Guys. So if you're interested in getting involved, um, just come and bother me in the field or drop me a message. I'm quite, I'd like, it's nice to see people. It's there's so many people though and there's people yeah. that are new to me even though they've been doing it for years or they've been going with a particular circle and I never met them there's, there's a lot of good people and I couldn't sort of just go yeah da, 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 da. Um, no. I remember hearing Morella singing she was really good um, yeah. again I don't think Tristan's Tristan's not new to Empire in any way but it'd be cool to see her no. um, some of his work and just sort of, I, I want to go to songs and stories now. It's not that I've never been for a bad reason. It's just it was all it was a, a place I just never had a chance to go. So mm. now that I've done virtual songs and stories, it's like I've kind of got to show up. <laughs> I've kind of got to go in person and hear what's happening in the bar, which is which is cool, which I'm looking forward to. But yeah. I've also realised like there's nations that I've, I don't know if I've heard people sing in, so mm. that would be cool to hear too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to hearing all the the new people come along and and sing a song and just mm-hmm. and get heavily involved because obviously like we got um, uh, Gigi uh, mm-hmm. in the Hefty Fam. Uh, she's written yeah. she's written music and stuff. So she's done she's done she's doing incredibly well. I know she's really looking forward to it. So I, I think perhaps in doing some recordings and stuff like that of every of people singing, so I could put a a big mm-hmm. video together and just go. Is this person singing this song? This person singing this song? This, 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 this. That would be quite good. Get people through Christmas, yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> New and Christmas that, single. Yeah, not necessarily um, a live stream or anything, no. but see if someone will cover Cliff Richard and that for Christmas. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. <laughs> not a criminal. So I think, um, yeah, I'll get, I'll get, I'll, I'll see about getting some recordings done for that then, and we can do a yeah. an empire album for christmas essentially that could be that could I, be quite fun i think wham is more the sort of the christmas empire would have yeah probably more than yeah. more than likely but, no no don't what? sing it you can't sing oh, it oh shit sorry yeah dcim i can't sing it we can't have <laughs> anything on shit Ooh. i didn't sing the proper thing I didn't no sing i think thing. what I, are I th- me <laughs> Oh, it's not December yet. Apparently, we're fine. So yeah, I I think we'll. He knows. Um, so I I think we'll um I think we'll, I think we'll be all uh, we'll be all right there. So that's that's okay. fine. Um, so. <laughs> I've just seen Sam's comment. Oh, I I, I don't want to. Oh my god, you're gonna summon the Carey monster? Was that? Oh Sam. Oh, Sam. Oh, Sam. Oh, God, you're just going to summon the carry monster. Yeah, pretty much. Let's, uh-huh. um... So, uh... Is it Kellen? Kaylin. Kaylin. Sorry, I will remember I at some point. Kaylin. Um, what types of genre... Uh, types of genres of music do you think fit with Dawn and the other nations? Ooh, that's good... It's funny you should ask me that. I had a look. I have the wiki open. I have the okay. wiki open, so that would be really helpful. It would help if I actually had myself on the wiki page. But, you know, that might be too helpful, Don. Oh, yeah. Um, so for Don specifically, it's looking for more formal folk and classical traditions of like Shakespeare and the Elizabethan period of things like madrigals, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um which is a form of choral singing. I just know that that's what it is. I, I couldn't sing your magical off the top of my head. I'm not that good. But um, definitely different types of folk and a bit of country, I feel like you can get away with, or sort of like folk rock. Um, if there's a okay. good slow acoustic version um, and you can get the lyrics to work, I think you can get away with it. Because the thing is, I look for very weird places to build from because mm. 
there's some songs that people know, but they knew them because they'd done them at reenactment and they'd done them at another lark. Yeah, yeah. And while it's taken from these historical settings, it is also a fantasy game where you could fight a dragon, sort of speaking. So hmm. that's the thing. So some of the places I've looked for is actually use some from Japanese rock, um, sort of modern folk music, um, or modern sort of like soft music, I guess is a way of putting it, sort of singer-songwriter okay. stuff. Um, country. Um, I've actually used a bit of Casey Mus. I've referred to, I've done films of Casey Musgraves. Am I allowed to mention names of people that I've filmed? That's not uh, myself. Yeah, that's 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 fine. I'm yeah. sure, and that that's fine. I'm sure. Yeah, um, case I summon the monster. Um, <laughs> um, so I've done films of people like um, One OK Rock, um, who are a Japanese band. But then I've heard a version of their song. They actually did a tour about eighteen months ago, I think it was, with an orchestra across Japan after they just finished like a world tour. Okay. So it's it's one thing to just it's to hear them with their instruments. It's another thing to hear the same songs with an entire orchestra behind them it gives yeah. a slightly different vibe and it's like okay so i can see how this could actually be like a battle chant song that's amazing mm. i love that song um I, like nancy griffith is another person but then i've grown up listening to her and she does sort of like folkabilly i guess country and folk music um Celt, sort of like Celtic style music can be quite helpful as well, and that can actually sort of like cover a few areas as well across different nations. Like that can be used a bit. Because I remember, I think it was actually Sam saying on Saturday night that Afrobeats and sort of Celtic music is a big inspiration for Navarre, but then also sea shanties can be quite popular in a lot of different parts of the nations. Yeah, yeah, sea shanties seem to be a rather big thing. Uh... Uh -huh. Don't like know, it's, so. it's a song people everyone can join into. Yeah, and I I had one. Um, I took it when I went camping a, a month or so ago, two months ago, whatever it was. Uh, I took one and I gave and I um I gave it to Smith. I showed it to I played it for Smith, uh, oh. and that was um, was it my mother told me one day I will buy something Oarsman kill every yeoman or some foeman or something like that i can't remember the actual lyrics okay. but that was pretty good and that was just it was literally just like five lines and it's repeated three times mm. but it, it gets a bit more louder and angrier as you mm. go through um so i absolutely love that i think that was from um I was, it's like there's like a viking music channel on youtube and i heard mm. it on i heard it on there and it was really, really good. So, mm -hmm. so that was um, so for me. So, um, uh, it me KP uh, has said. <laughs> see, I've seen all these comments appearing by my head, but they haven't because yeah. I, I'm so far behind at the moment. <laughs> so I haven't I? seen anything yet. Um, so it me KP has said, which nation do you enjoy performing for most, and why is it not High Guard? I mean, High Guard have never invited me round, so if High Guard want to invite me round, that's the thing. Um, I have to say the league because they invite me round. Oh, that's real talk. I, I I read it there and I knew what it was coming, but saying it out loud has just made me laugh so much. It's because no one likes High Guard. Oh. If I guard invite me round, I'll give them a fair <coughs> shot. Oh, dear. You know, I'll give them a fair shot. Oh. But, um, I'm going to be honest and say it's probably the league because they invite me round. Yeah. They like me. Yeah, because that was where I first heard you. That was at the theatre. Mm -hmm. So, oh, man. So, um, is the music and performance side of Empire very easy to get involved in? And where do you recommend getting started? That's from Helen. Oh... Because I had a bit of an uphill climb because I'm not part of a big group. So I think one of the things for Dawn is it's a 10 CM. You have the houses mostly of the nightly orders. Um, but I'm not in a big house or big nightly order at the moment. I'm in a house of my own. No Billy No Mates here. <laughs> but um, no, in all seriousness, it's, it's, people will tend to in the evening times 
gathered together and sometimes there'll be a bit of singing in the square but it tends to be more as a house people gathering together and having that sort of like family time but then yeah. i don't know what it's like in different houses so the th- thing that i did break through with really is the leak theater and that being sort of like we want people to come here and do this thing i know that if you go through in a bar obviously there's songs and stories and that's a thing that's a, a thing to come and take part in it never um, heard of it never heard of it no nah. um so that would be finding edwin in the field and sparrow i think mm-hmm. i don't i don't want to put extra responsibility on you sparrow but um I'm just, I'm just naming the Bari, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Technically not really icy, um, but there's songs and stories. And if you say to people, I want to come to songs and stories, if you go into the bar and say, I really want to come and perform for you, I'm sure you'll be pointed eventually in the right direction. Um, I don't know the actual literal way of doing things. I don't know what happens in the marches or high guards or urizen. But I do know there's a few musicians. Actually, there's a yeah. violinist in Urizen that I know about. Yes. But she hasn't turned up to the atelier yet. So one of the things I'm trying mm. to do with the atelier is you can come to speak to me. And one of the things we do is we usually gather on a Friday evening and we try not to... This is the thing. People are in meetings and people are always in meetings and you can't not have a meeting clash. Mm. But we usually try and gather... It's most of the time it's been in wise guys because wise guys are quite uh, happy to let us come in there for, re- for free so long as somebody sings and draws people in. Yeah. So that's the thing, although we do try and give them some prosperity, which is nice. Yeah. Um, there's a few different ways. Uh, but my way was a little bit unorthodox in that I just kept turning up to the League Theatre and they're like, we need people. It's like, I'm happy to do this. I'm happy to. Like, I could be quite flexible because people are like, oh, I've got this meeting, but that meeting. I'm like, all to do. Yeah. When do you want me to come in? <laughs> um, which made it better. And I've actually been able to perform for some Eternals. Very nice. Well, an Eternal. No, actually, no, no. I've performed for an Eternal and some Heralds. So, cool. I think, cool. technically speaking. So, you do kind of have to have the courage to get <clears throat> past that through that new song. And yeah. The other thing is position of high bard but that's another thing in it itself that i've gone into the edition for which is terrifying <laughs> i can imagine is that in front of a panel it's in front of all the cardinals how many cardinals there's a lot um so technically there's the throne counts as a vote because it's the assembly of nine yeah and then there's all eight cardinals but not everyone can get to the same meetings so i think i performed in front of five cardinals maybe four Oh, still. But uh, there's still a lot of cardinals. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, top of the Scots. Uh, the Empire Christmas album. <laughs> We're all going on a briar holiday. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I like we're that. All, we're all going to hell now. Yeah, we're doing well. Oh man. <laughs> Um, I heard two notes and zero words. That's all right then, as as long as that didn't come through. So that's fine. Oh God, you're gonna summon the carry monster. Yeah. Rawr. See, that's that's rawr. Mm. That's my input on that one. Because someone said, "Oh, Just... I like the suggestion of Nightwish. I have felt a Nightwish song. It's cool. possible, but it's not a Tarja song. Because Nightwish have gone through a few lead singers at this point. I think they've gone through about three different lead female vocalists." Mm. And Tarja is the one that everyone thinks of because she does the opera. She does the proper. <laughs> she was like proper full on opera. Yeah. Not me. Okay. Not me. I think it's Annette is the era that I took my song from because I'm, I'm not going into the rafters. No. <laughs> as 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 he said as he said <clears throat> sister actor, I'm not going into the rafters. Uh, is the Jotun Koki an appropriate folk? No. <laughs> no. Into the dungeon. <laughs> Into the dungeon. Oh my god. Uh, rocking around the party potato. And then the militia came and arrested us all. Yeah, they there yeah, they would would be just immediate execution <laughs> on that one. Um, I don't want to be executed. I'm too pretty. <laughs> I wonder uh, if they've ever heard that virtue defence. I'm too pretty. 
That will be that will be my virtual def- that will be my virtue defense straight off the bat. I think. Pride, I'm too pretty. I'm too pretty. You can't. Make- <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it stick. Look at this beard. Do, do you really want to mess this up? Um, um, Shanty's usually pretty good to feel. Uh, Liam's lost. Excellent. <laughs> That's the, the best kind of stream right there. When you're lost, you just don't know what's going on. Um, High few just. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I love Ben. Hi, future Steve from past mm-hmm. chat. That's awesome. Uh, to be fair, I like Nightwish. I think I've caught up with everything. Excellent. Yeah. Um, in um, fairness, Kaylin, you could manage Annette, but I don't think either of us could manage Tarja. So I like Nightwish, but I think I'd break my voice trying to replicate it. Brad says, Urizen Phoenix Reach for late night music. That's the one I was trying to think of. Yes. Urizen yeah, Phoenix and Reach. Cassia. Yeah. Uh, marches uh, find a place in the pub and sing uh, or Egregore Jack would host a bit of a singing group in Merritt yeah oh. I've, I've been in the pub when they've done it and I've been in um, well, I've been in a few pubs when the marches have turned up <laughs> um, have you witnessed the um, the run by song I don't think I have and it's, I'm slightly frightened it's amazing it's two people they've gone running past me they've stopped they went, excuse me, and I turned around to look at them, they sang at me, and then ran off. And I was just like, well, I'm, I'm erect. And that was it. <laughs> they were gone. Gone. It was amazing. It was so good. So many good things happened. I mean, the majority of weird stuff that happens like that is in the marches. It's always in the marches. They're great for it. Um... Uh, I'm Too Pretty was an actual legal defence used by a woman in ancient Greece. Really? I'll have to look into that. That's that's fantastic. Use that argument at Empire. That'd be really, really good. Um, Mac and Grimm's musical tour of Anvil, like Chaz and, Ta- Chaz and Dave, but more drink. Oh, don't, dear. don't know about Chaz and Dave. No. Um, my Innocent Ears, the horror. Sorry, Liam. Um, of course we are. A marcher, a marcher. Yeah, definitely. That was so good. So, you perform a lot in the field. I, th- I think it's safe to say. It's when, it, when it comes to the um, the performers who you rely on to be there and you know, mm-hmm. know can sing and you know are going to um, uh, not, I suppose, not stop. And things mm-hmm. like that, they've got they've got um, a solid repertoire and and mm-hmm. things like that. And I mean, what what is your favorite? What would be your favorite song to uh, to perform? Would you say? Ooh, I think because I try and change up for myself every so often. So I'll sort of maybe like if I've overdone a song, it's like okay, skip that this time. Or there's a particular event where they've got a theme. So like I did a particular song I think that I hadn't done before that I did that for the um, the Cardinals which was a thing. Mm. Um, I, I, when I go back to it's quite easy to which is sort of one of the very early ones I did was um, Behold the Labyrinth. Mm. I like Black Roses but always hitting the high notes and that can sometimes be like oh is it happening? Is it happening tonight Don? Are we doing this? Do we think they're hard enough? Do we? Are we going up to the rafters? Are we, love? Let's see. Let's see. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, there's new songs I'm kind of looking forward <clears throat> to giving a go as well. But um, what have I got in front of me? I, I quite like, let no one see, steal your time and behold labyrinth are ones I do relatively regularly, especially yeah. for these yeah, I, I play Behold the Labyrinth at the before of some of my streams, so mm-hmm. yeah, I do like that one. Mm-hmm. So, um, you fancy a bit of a sing? <sighs> I don't know. It was a silly question, really, wasn't it? Um, it was really a question, it's demands. <laughs> so, there, there, is, there are a, a couple of questions, but we can leave them for after. Okay. We'll leave them for after. Hmm. So, did people have a song they wanted, or am I just 
Just no, go for it. You 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 pick you pick a song. It's like I did a chat with Andy, um, uh-huh. and we were talking about songs, and he said um, that he 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 wanted to perform. So he doesn't get to sing that often because he's the these are the, the, the he has songs that he yeah. really likes to sing, but he can't sing them too often. So oh. that's what he did. So he was just like, mm. I want to do this. So Helen's just said whatever you're in the mood for. Again, everything I do is a film that isn't going to get as a DNC, is it, or whatever it's called, or a um, or a YMC. I don't know what the the, the is. DMI, the DMIC. Uh, I don't think it. I don't think it will. No. Mm-hmm. And can uh, Helen? I'm I'm considering removing you for chat for that comment. <laughs> I'm not familiar. You I'm don't not want familiar to be. with the song. I know the song, I know of it, mm. but I'm not familiar with the beat, and I don't think I could uh, do justice to Ladies Cardi or Megan. We we heard we heard about it, and it saw it had all the. It's like one of the most viewed videos on YouTube, so we put it on. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's oh my god! I hate that song mm. so much. I I yeah. I I have a lot of views about that song, and none of them are positive. So, I mean, but, I mean, they know what they want, and they've been very clear, and they've given even very simple directions. <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I quite enjoy a rude song by a lady where she's like, "These are the things that are going to happen." You're like, "Okay, it's not, it's not that difficult, lads. It's really yeah, not that difficult." I, I think for me, it was just like, I, it, it, I think on my scale, it just didn't even register as music. Um, yeah. But it's yeah, that's all, that's not my cup of tea. But anyway, um, anyway, so what are you going to sing for us? Uh, that, that's an excellent question because I'm looking. Do I knew you a new one? But no, I'm looking at what I've got, what I've not done in a while. Because it's also when you mentioned Andy, I'm like ah, there's a song I want to do as a duet with him. But again, I have to limber up my voice because it's it's really high. <laughs> there's the ladies bit. There's there's a bloke's bit and there's a ladies bit. Yeah. But then when it hits the bloke's bit of his higher register I go a little bit wobbly because it's usually they're singing over one another and she's singing like a different tune and he's singing another tune but it's meant to blend together and that uh, messes me up um, pen pineapple apple pen filk pete yeah koto wari desu koto wari Okay, how about um, we? So, this is a song that I think everyone will be kind of familiar with. This is a filk. Um, I'm not sure who's done all of the lyrics for it, but um, it's a little song called Leaves from the Vine. I just want to see my own evil face. I think some people are familiar with Leaves from the Vine, especially if you've seen Avatar The Last Airbender, Tales of Iroh. Oh, cool. You're welcome. I agree you to Leaves from the vine falling so slow like fragile tiny shells drifting in the foam little soldier boy Come marching home, brave soldier boy, come marching home. Ash in the snow, falling so slow, like fragile broken hearts, no place to go. Little soldier boy, come marching home, brave soldier boy. Come marching home. He thought he knew what he was fighting for, but the sight of blood made him question war. Poor soldier boy, cold and alone, arrows fall like rain, he's all alone. Those leaves did grow. From branches overgrown, drifting slowly down, resting in the snow. 
little soldier boy marching from his home forced to fight a war that is not his own leaves from the vine changing so slow like empty fallen souls looking for a home little soldier boy thought that he could soar brave soldier boy died in that war that's fantastic i'm clapping myself <laughs> <laughs> I'm more Sarah Milligan there than the Cockney, which is all tapping me so. That's brilliant. That was really, that's really good. Oh, Thank you. You've made GG tear up. Oh, yeah, it's from Avatar The Last Airbenders. So I knew it could also fit into the Urzan style as well as the Donish style a little bit. But mm. if, you, if you know the scene, mm. you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's, I'll probably have to add it to my watch list something to see so i've never watched it so um it me kp uh, probably a newbie question mm-hmm. do you sing at battle uh, and do you go to fights or skirmishes i would join in with like the dawn choir as it were when we would go into battle i have not been to battle in a long time because i'm no longer part of like a group of people mm. um so i don't really want to go into battle on my own eel no. I don't have a lance I'm part of, really, so I'm sort of like, I don't think this is how I want to lose the character. Some people like the battle and don't mind that. I'm sort of like, oh, I've done all this other stuff. I don't I don't enjoy the battle enough to get up at that time in the morning. Yeah. Once you've had the lion, <laughs> it's like, but there won't be a queue at the moorish. There won't be a queue for the shower. That's true. I didn't. I never like, thought of that. Mm, mm. But there are lots of people who sing at battle. Like there's battle choirs in High Guard. There's loads of drumming in Navarre. Um, there's I'm not sure the orcs. They just sing during. I've been involved with yeah. the orcs singing during battle. Uh, what's this? Um, Fuck you, I'm drunk. I think was <laughs> the uh, the song that we sang. Um, so that was hilarious. That was to get involved in that. I got separated for like the umpteenth time in a fight, and I was just I just turned up and the orcs were there. And I was hey. I was ready to have a fight with them, and then they were just like, "No, we're Imperial Orcs, mate." And I was like, "Oh, thank fuck for that." And hey. then they and then we marched towards a line. We were on our own, and yeah, they just started singing that and that. And I was just like, "Oh, I love this." <laughs> it was so there's good. A bat- there's a battle didgeridoo in marches. There's this mm. like a little band that comes out onto the field with them. I'm trying yeah. to think what else there is because I'm not remembering everyone. Um, I know that. Tom's group when they have been out to battle they've not been out to battle recently because of health stuff but when they did they would do like football chants like who are you? Who are you? Oh yeah. Back and nobody. <laughs> Although Tom's, I don't, it, Tom are you going to take the Zalaika into battle? Uh, probably not with Alfie. Probably not with Alfie he uh. says. Um, so, so Tom has purchased a Zalaika which I think is like a Russian or Ukrainian Proto Vuvuzela. Oh, between wow. a right recorder and a Vuvuzela. And you're told to take the trumpet part off because otherwise your neighbours will be surprised. It is quite loud. So that's winging its way to us. I'm slightly terrified because I have no idea what it's going to be like. But it's. He's very much looking forward to the arrival of the Zaleika, and I'm slightly terrified because I have no idea what it's going to be like. So, I am a massive football fan. And. Uh-huh. I have never thought once of bringing football chants to Empire. Mm-hmm. I think I need to start thinking these things through. <laughs> I think it's... It's, it's got to be virtuous, though. So. Where's your pride? Back yeah. at home. So, who's the wanker over there? Uh, isn't really... <laughs> yeah. But make it virtuous, because you, you want, what you want to do is to get to Paragon Hoop, right? So... Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you could do um, because uh, there's there is a football chart uh, t- uh, like uh, two nil and you fucked it up. Uh, so you could do, you could do um, you charged and you fucked it up. 
So that'd be quite a good one. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You That's charged awesome. and you fucked it up. You charged and you fucked it up. Yeah, I like that. Bring that. That one's yeah coming to coming to a field near you. Um, so uh, Liam's asked uh, another um, another question. So uh, I'm a fan of Billie Eilish uh, and the way that she uses her voice in music, so soft but still very powerful and gripping. Is there someone you can recommend uh, that that fits that type of vocals? Um, what I'll do is once we're done here, I'll put like my empire playlist somewhere in i think i've put them up before but i'll put them up again i'll try and chase them down mm. but um if you want people who sort of sing quite softly um Nan again nancy griffith is amazing i really like her um caroline glazer and i think these are mostly the ladies i'm mentioning caroline glazer and um, casey musgraves um I would maybe say Noah Gunderson. I know he's very, he's actually very popular with other LARPs as well, for um, fancy LARPs for Phil King. Hmm. So he's got quite a soft voice. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I'm flicking through a book and thinking to myself. Um, again, people, acoustic versions of songs are also a good place to look. Um, I don't know about his current songs but i know that noah reed who plays patrick in Shits creek has quite a soft gentle singing voice so listening to how he projects is probably quite good as well if you're looking for that hmm. uh liam's also asked how you do your vocal warm-ups um try and avoid chocolate just beforehand chocolate is your <laughs> for a good performance um sing the song a lot sing it in the shower sing it when i'm getting ready um try and find space to do that <coughs> drink water uh, like i say i am not a trained musician i just know i have to sing from down here and not here otherwise it does you grind out the vocal flaps because that's what they are but i hate that i've just said the word vocal flaps on a recording session <laughs> it doesn't sound good does it <laughs> You've done well. I would expect uh, nothing less. <laughs> um, but basically, it's it's not great for the vocal, for the inside of you if you're just sort of like constantly <gasps> going for the loud noises from in there. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, it's also probably watching some vocal tutors on YouTube would probably help you if you're looking to look the technique. But I can't say that I'm someone who knows about it a lot. Okay. I make sing song noise what I like. <laughs> that, that this is my level. Good. I don't know when I'm going to progress beyond that level. But doesn't yeah. matter. You're you're enjoying it. That's the main thing. Yeah. I think that's with yeah. any, with anything with this hobby, you, you need mm -hmm. to enjoy it. You have to enjoy what you're doing. Um, Helen said uh, it's uh, it is nice and chill, not going into battle. Mm -hmm. uh, Abby said, make sure I need, I need to watch the cartoon version. Yes, you do. See, they made a live action version, and we don't talk about it because it didn't happen. You underst we understand each other. Yeah. Okay. I I'm with you on that one. Is that okay. is that like the prequels for Star Wars? Episode one, two, and three didn't happen, but neither did seven, eight, and nine, really. Um, I mean, I don't want to get into the argument of Star Wars because there was good stuff and there was bad stuff, but like, mm. um. I, mean, says, more yeah. strong, I feel more strongly about it because they just really dropped a, it just it just sort of they sort of went ah oh, ah oh, we'll people kids liked this we'll make a buck off of it it's like you've forgotten all the things that people actually liked about it right okay uh Abby says cartoon only soccer is 10 out of 10 hey he's a good spot this soccer okay right mm -hmm. i've I've got nothing to do tomorrow, so I will. Yeah. I'll put that. I think it's on Netflix, actually. It's all on Netflix. It's twenty-minute yeah. episodes. Okie dokie. There we go. It's kind of like the difference between Dragon Ball Z and the live action. We don't speak of it. Okay. Yeah. There we go. That's yeah. Okay. You can follow up with Shira. Oh, Depending I, how much yeah. I couldn't get into that. I, I I struggled to get into it. It was. Uh, yeah, it, it was. It wasn't my cup. It wasn't my cup of tea. 
unfortunately. So I, I remember the original. They have improved it. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember the original as well, and it's not difficult to improve <laughs> on. Um, but yeah, I can, I can, I can see that. But I, I tried. I just, I, I struggled with it. It's like the remake of Thundercats. I watched that, and it's just like, uh... which one? Exactly. There, were, there was two. Um, there was the 2012 version. Oh no, the latest, the latest one. The what? The, the chibi one. Well, the chibi ones are just meant to be like cute and fun, and like mm. they try to go like animu for the 2012 one. I was like, oh, they've got someone whose art design looks like this and this, and then it reached a certain point. I was like, why? Okay. Why? Why yeah. did you do this to me? Um, where else did we get? Uh. Uh, the unbiblical. No, so not gonna lie, one of the funnier parts of being on the other side is what's get is uh, what gets sung, shouted at us uh, in the crew during battle. You know, not the sports ball. Cheers, Ben. Uh, yeah, not my cabbages, my cabbages. That's a line from the show. Right. Okay. I'll I'll put it on. Did don't spoil it for him because that's season two, guys. Come on, calm down, okay. calm your tits. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. find a... out about the cabbages in his own good time. Steve is going to have no clue what we're talking about. Nope. No, no. Uh, Kaylin, uh, when I first watched Atla, uh, I wasn't sure from the first episode. Glad I stuck with it. Mm -hmm. uh, or a more modern version of Death Note anime and then the piece of shit they made for Netflix. Uh, I had heard the Death Note that they, made, they remade for Netflix was awful. Um, I'm a big fan of. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. I'm so much of a big fan of it. I've forgotten it. <laughs> Helsinger Bridged. It's the abridged version, and it's hilarious. Okay. It's absolutely hilarious. And so it's all of the original Helsing series, but it's they've changed all. The, they've just changed what they're saying, pretty much. Some, for some people in the stream weren't born for that. I know it's so good. <laughs> It's so, so funny. Um, if anyone hasn't seen it in chat, mm -hmm. uh, it's good. Yes, I've got Dragon Ball Z abridged is on my is on my list to watch. Apparently that's very, very funny as well. So mm -hmm. that's um, Team Four Star, I think it is, who do that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, their, their channel's full of it and it's really, really funny. Mm -hmm. So uh, they come up with classic lines... Um, uh, someone says to Alucard, he goes, uh, how did you do that? And his reply is just so, it's just, fuck you, that's how. <laughs> that's the level it's at. It's so good. You have to watch it. Right. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really, really good. Sal Abridged. Oh, I don't know that one. Sword Art Online. Ah, right. I'll, I will happily watch any Abridged show so right this this will all get added to my list of things to go yeah. and watch i think <laughs> so oh what are we talking about oh yeah music we're talking about music, yeah, music. Empire yeah. and all that jazz. <laughs> I, well, I was explaining where that song had come from and it's basically from it's uh, from season two of avatar and once you hear it sung in the original setting you'll come up to me and go you monster I, yeah, I, that's the you, one I'm going to look out for. What uh -huh, is that? Is that you, first season? Is it? That's the songs from season two. Okay, so I will. Have no, that. But it's it's a song that's it's this this show sort of starts at a certain level, and then it gets it's a beautifully written thing. Yeah. Okay. It's just, it's just very beautifully and cleverly written a lot of it, but then they had Fantastic. a very strong writing team, so there was a lot of people inputting into it. I think so. Okay. So when when you are writing, we'll we'll get back on track now. Sorry, yeah, sorry that... everyone. Sorry, um, come back. Mm -hmm. So when you are writing a filk, then how are you actually? Uh, how are you actually doing it? Do you do you like find the the actual song lyrics to the original, and then you're just working your way through them, and then you have like another set of lyrics written down, and you're just like, how could this work? What words will fit? Is that literally it? Yeah, I've got basically I've got an in progress document that I just put the original into. Okay. I'm listening to it. I'm working through it. Sometimes, like the songs that have sat in there for quite a while, because I get to a certain point and I go, 
this this is making me angry and then another song comes along like okay this is just done that's just done okay that goes straight in and i'm looking at the other one like this is i'm pretty sure this one i put in for the one that i'm going to print for whenever the next larp i go to is associated with empire touch wood it's gonna happen because because an auntie rona's out to get us all um well apparently with that that no, tangent. Let's yeah. not go on a tangent. <laughs> We're not going on a tangent. Um, but there's gonna... this, but then the songs I'm sort of like, oh no, no, and I'm sort of looking at it going, okay, so I put this. I literally I tried this song ages ago and it didn't work, and now it's mm. now it's going back in. It's like okay, now it's okay. at a place where I'm happy with it. I feel like I can make it work. Yeah. And it's also about sort of it doesn't have to sound the exact same as the original song. You don't have to go at the same beat as them. There's a yeah. couple of songs now that I've got where it's like I like this, but I don't know if I can be the primary singer on it. But if I can get other people to listen to it and join in in it, that would be great because you can get the, the, mm. the, and then get people who do know what they're doing. Same with like instruments as well. So it's listening to the song a lot, practicing my version of the lyrics as well along with the version i've got here mm. sometimes i have to find an acoustic version because pardon me i have to keep it at a slightly slower pace because you are having to sing to an audience and i sing entirely a cappella because i would like to learn how to play and sing at the same time but i am not quite at that point yet yeah no, that's cool so, so there's this <clears throat> bad boy that i'm i'm useless with very nice. And then there's the ukulele, which was like 15 quid. <laughs> that I, have, I have to yeah. admit, I've, I've been looking at getting myself a um, an acoustic guitar to learn how to play. Mm. Mm. Um, but I find that um, my fingers are too fat and I can't do the, I I'm... can't grip and stuff like that. I really struggle with it. I think I you just have to practice because I'm finding it really hard as well because there's ones where they're saying now put this finger here and you're like yeah and now you have to change it though for that word oh so it's no so I think you have to practice but I too am finding it extremely difficult some people for whom this comes very easy yeah no I I would I would love to learn how to do that. Um, Liam says, reel us in like fish, Steve. I refuse to give attention till you do. Puts up middle fingers and spins on the spinning chair. Update, he fell off his chair. Good. Uh, and says, you. ukulele, indeed. Uh, played uh, yourself, bro. You played yourself. <laughs> it's normally me. Um, <laughs> Avi says, uh, I always struggled with a guitar. Uh, Gigi says, hell yeah for the ukulele. Uh, and he says metal strings always help me but when I got the ukulele so much easier yeah it's, um, it's a tiny instrument and because it's inexpensive mm. I'm not going to weep if anything happens I'll be annoyed but I'm not going to be like hmm mm. there's people bringing on things like hurdy gurdies onto fields and bringing on yeah instruments that they would use for their mm. work which frightens me. I know to a certain extent they must have insurance or something and it's like it's all fine for them or they know what they're doing but there's a part of me that's sort of a bit Yeah, I, I, I'm not oh. too sure. I'm a bit terrified of that. Yeah. Uh, Liam says I play the keyboard and I uh, struggle to sing and play the right keys. Yeah. So, um, Abby wants to learn uh, the uh, hurdy-gurdy. Um, Liam's spinning again. Just mental. Crazy. Uh -huh. Um so Abby says I found a Kickstarter for a cheap starter one that sounds good, but it's four hundred quid still. What, Gee uh, uh, Hurdy Gurdy. Hurdy Gurdy. This Um I'll ask Tom because we crewed for a LARP, it wasn't Empire. We crewed for a LARP where they'd gotten one a laser printed one. I don't think it was four hundred quid. Was it? Mm. Um, don't you don't have to tell me the links or anything, but how much was the one? Okay. 
all right. I don't know if you caught that, but um, a apparently bit, yeah. it, was a, it was a laser cut one. But apart, I think this one of the um, the droning strings broke. It's not a great instrument. It was assembled by an engineer, so it's not like. All right. <laughs> okay. Basically, I'm pretty sure it wasn't that expensive, but again, it did break, and I don't know if they put it together properly. So. Hmm. Yeah, because I think they they bought one on the LARPs series because uh, they were at, they actually used one. So I might message um, okay. message John and see if if they if they've still got it, see if they're going to sell it, uh, and then we can go from there. Oh, that's mm. cool. That's a little yuck. Mm. People want to see that. Tom's just active in the background. Mm. It's fine. He's rustling around, but yeah. Um, and oh, Sam's yeah. making one out of the body of a cello. Yes, wow. he showed us. He showed us um, the one he's creating. It looks really cool. That's I'm slightly awesome, terrified because obviously I, I wouldn't know how to put this stuff together. And we saw he'd, how he disemboweled it basically. That's so cool. I've got a friend. I've got a friend who makes guitars Ooh. as well. He is. <gasps> incredibly talented at it. He's, some of the stuff he's done is great. Oh, no, I, I knew a guy from the music circle a long time ago now, and I'm pretty sure... I think he studied Italian at his university, and then I think the last time I saw him on Facebook, he'd moved to Italy to become a viola maker. Oh, wow. He, he, I think he set up shop. It was really random. I'll see if I can find if he's looking to pull off viola still. But um, to meet him, he was like into proper Japanese metal, and he was always dressed entirely in black, had sort of quite a, a wild mane of hair, and always was wearing shades. But, but when you spoke to him, so he would have that demeanour, and then we spoke to him, oh yes, hello, very polite, very calm. Yeah. But was always in the big, always in, dressed entirely in black, the big boots, the proper heavy metal boots. And then cool. it's like, and now he's making violas. It's like, that's amazing. That's so cool. But um, I, don't, I don't know if he still is doing the viola business. Yeah. Uh, and he says, "If there's some empire, I'm going to be in awe." Yeah, I, th I, I when, I, I mean, I'm at awe at everybody who performs at Empire because mm -hmm. people are just so talented, and mm -hmm. my attempt at singing a song at Empire finished after one line, and then I buggered off. Um, but when I'm nobody's mm -hmm. watching and it's just me and I'm singing with other people, I was all right because mm -hmm. it's uh, my favourite song to perform at Empire um, is Wayfaring Stranger. Yeah. So I love that song so much, mm -hmm. and um, that was really really nice to sing at, um, at Justin's funeral. So me and Kit, and um, <laughs> yeah, we sat down and sang that. So um, there's because there's only two verses to that song, but I've got a third verse. Mm -hmm. So because it's about saying yeah, saying goodbye to your to your dad to your mum, and mm -hmm. my third verse is saying goodbye to my brother. So obviously because oh. Kit played my brother. Mm -hmm. So it, it felt quite. It was. It's quite nice. So I, I'm. I'm looking forward to uh, springing. Twist the knife. Yeah, I'm looking forward to springing that one on him at some point. Mm. Oh, that reminds me. Cause someone asked me about songs, and I just remembered another musician you may enjoy is Luke Combs. Who is sort of like I would say medium tone for mm. a male singer or a masculine singer, I should say. Excellent. Although some of his songs are a little bit sort of beer can country, but then he also does some quite heartfelt stuff as well. It's quite nice. So yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. So, um, just looking at the time as well, and I want to get another uh -huh. another performance in. <laughs> so I think um, what we'll probably have to do because uh, me me and Helen haven't actually eaten yet this, today. Same. So <laughs> so I think uh, take away. <laughs> Brilliant. So I think if we if we get another performance in before we draw, okay. we draw it all to a close, and mm -hmm. uh, and we can go for that. Sing for your supper. Oh, I won't be. Uh, we when when this oh. is when this is done, we're gonna pop over. To, we have to pop over to uh, the local shop to get some essentials. So yeah. unfortunately. So uh, what were you gonna sing for us to finish off with? Oh. I'm going to try something. I think I'm going to try something that's a little bit difficult. Okay. It's a newer one. Yep. It's a film from a rock band. It's all ladies called Dorothy. Ooh, I'm just them. trying to find it now. Uh, so they're quite I, I like them as well. 
but okay. um, it's a little bit different. Yeah. So I'm not promising this is going to go well, but I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I've sung along to the original enough that I think, yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Yoda's back. Mm-hmm. Yoda's Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. So this one's called, Why Did Love Put a Blade in My Hand? Why did love put a blade in my hand? Why did love put a blade in my hand? Why did love put a blade in my hand? In my bed, in my head, and in my hand. Was it for the glory? Was it for revenge? Was it for the stories? Was it for the lead? Was it for the thrill of pushing ambition to the edge? Why did love, why did love put a blade in my hand? Why did love, why did love put a blade in my hand? Why did love put a knife in my heart? Why did love open up my skirts? Why did love? Put a knife in my heart, in my bed, in my head, and in my heart. Was it for the glory? Was it for revenge? Was it for stories? Was it for the ledge? Was it for the thrill of pushing ambition to the edge? Why did love, why did love put a blade in my head? Why did love, why did love put a blade in my hand? Short, sweet. That was fantastic. I was, I was, en- I was engrossed in that. <laughs> There's more, but I've also realised more verses will involve a little bit more choral work. But yeah, that was goes mm. quite nice, quite simple. That's fantastic. Thank you. you. You've had you've got hearts coming up in chat from Abby, oh, so that's and uh, yeah, a captivated mm-hmm. Steve. Yeah, that was really good. That was really really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That um, that one's I think would be easier if I had proper boom boom. Can't tell if my my sight was going or if I was genuinely making the desk jump when I was doing the thumpity thump. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, thanks for adult. the bits there as well. We've you've done well. Thank uh, you. So yeah, so that was awesome. I I think for the for the sign of the way way things have gone with this this stream. Oh, more bits as well. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, uh, Wamers Lap, and uh, that so more hearts there pouring out to you. That's really good. I I really enjoyed this. I think it was it was a stream that I was a bit I was a bit worried about because I didn't know how it would go because. When it comes to music and stuff like that, they you don't you just don't know how it's how it's gonna go, mm. and I think I think it's re- I think it went really really well. Yeah, so, I'm glad. Yeah, definitely, that was really good, and I'm I'm glad that you were the first of four. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so uh, who else we got? We got Sam. Uh, coming, Sam's coming on to do one. I can heckle him. Uh, yeah, Justin is coming on to do one as well. Um, I promise, I promise that I will not do my usual. Let's interrupt them halfway through a sentence. Is that the really? Uh, uh, um, so he will That's not be. Of course, you wrote in on. Yeah, he he will not be inter- he, he will not be coming onto the stream mid sentence again. Do not worry. It was so, it was so funny though. Um, <laughs> So um, Justin is coming on to perform, talk about songs and have a sing, and um, honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it was great. Uh, either way, glad I watched. That's from Liam, so that's really good. Oh, thank you, Liam. Everyone's saying thank you. such a good time, much love. Uh, and we've also got Andy Ruddick coming on as well. Hey. So he is coming on to perform too. So that will be really good uh i'll have a chat with him we might even be able to we'll see if we can get uh emma on as well to to sing with him a little bit now her her voice seems to be 
uh, oh. better. So oh. cause it's, it's taken because she lost it completely for about five yeah. months for a very very long time. So um, thank you everyone for coming along to watch, get involved, Yay. chat, mm -hmm. subscribe, follow, give bits mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, could we set up the Dawn and Pud duo? Oh. Wow. I mean, he, he did drop kick me into the atelier, in fairness to him. So he's very good at if you sort of say, I'd like to do this thing. And then he was just sort of like, gave me a verbal shove. She had an idea during a meeting, which was great. So yeah, I'll, I'll sing Brandy. He's great. Excellent. Well, what we can do then, if we do the Christmas music thing, I can get both of you on and you can sing for that. Uh, the Empire Day singing thing. We don't have Christmas. The, oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, we don't have Christmas, remember? Yes, Empire Day. So yeah, we'll 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 get I'll get that recorded then, so that can do mm -hmm. its uh, debut, and we'll get everybody to sing, and if they yeah. can, and I'll record people, and then we'll make a proper video for it. That'll be good mm -hmm. fun to do, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So thanks everyone for coming along to watch. Thanks everyone for yes. laughing, chatting, poking, mm -hmm. uh, giving bits, and and all of that sort of stuff. And it mm -hmm. was fantastic. This has been so much fun to do. Thanks for filling the cup as well. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone. That's really, really good. Um, mm. It needs a banging album cover. Yeah, so if anyone fancies doing an Empire album yeah. cover, that'll be awesome. We'll, we'll go with that and we'll put, and yeah, we'll just put that one out. That'll be the video cover for YouTube. S whatever stick someone figures makes. riding a like, flaming dragon. That'd be hilarious, that one. That'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. So, yeah, we'll do that and... Um, uh, ha, ha, I could do that 100%. There you go. Abby hey. is Abby is on the album cover, so we'll go we'll go from there. Um, so uh, I'm doing lin a lineage chat on f uh, Wednesday, and a diplom a foreign diplomatic and or dip oh. politics stuff, and um, on Friday. Mm -hmm. So we got that. What else have we got? Um, oh, I got loads of stuff. Uh, Christmas giveaway, the thing. Um, if you have an idea uh, for one of the prize, um, for someone to win one of the prizes, a new player who has done something, who's doing great things within the community, let me know, yeah. and we'll get them added to the votes. I've had four nominations so far for four different people. So it's a tie at the moment. So let's keep on going. And uh, that person will then win something um, as a mm -hmm. gift from the Hefty fan. Um, and the giveaway will be around Christmas. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that. I can't think of anything else, really. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for having me, everyone. That's a great time. Thank you so much for coming on, Dawn. It yeah. has been really, really good. As Great. as always, as always, I think you're, mm. I think you're my most regular person to have on the stream now. <laughs> so it's been fantastic. <laughs> so it's really really good. Um, so everyone's saying thank you. To you. This is mm. awesome. Uh, just you know the politics one. I'm definitely going to keep spamming overruled in chat. If you no. want to, I don't have to read it, mate. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, so thank you everyone for coming along mm -hmm. to watch, chat, get involved in, spin on mm -hmm. chairs, fall off chairs, and stuff like that, and uh, ask questions. It is Talking. amazing. You do impersonations and cabbages. Yeah. Don't tell him about the cabbages because he's going to find that out in his own. Yeah. Bit of Yoda. Uh, cheers, been a good stream. Thank you everyone for watching, and thank you so much, Dawn, for coming on. And uh, And uh, I'll see everybody probably in chat and everybody on Wednesday Wednesday yeah so everyone take care have a good evening and if you're ever struggling make sure you reach yep. out we're all in the same Just boat mm -hmm. okay take care everyone Bye.